Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Uh, happy birthday uh, to Keanu Reeves. I believe he turns 56 today. My God, the man looks incredible, looks way younger than I do, and I'm not 56, let me just tell you that. Thank you very much. Uh, he is an awesome guy. I mean, that's at least the perception I think the majority of us have about him. There's just something about Keanu which makes us gravitate towards the guy. And being 56, he's had a very fruitful career so far, lasting decades into the 80s. And one thing which seems to have been a constant uh, when it comes to him is how much of a, a decent person he really is. Uh, you don't hear stories, negative stories about Keanu. Uh, you only hear positive ones, lovely ones, in fact. There's that great one where he was doing speed with Sandra Bullock and he was really attracted to her, but he was too shy to say anything. And then years later, Sandra Bullock was being interviewed and it came out and she was just like, oh, I really rather fancied him back then as well. You know, it's just like, oh. Uh, then you hear the story about uh, when he was on The Matrix. I think it was the Matrix anyway. And he bought the crew a bunch of motorcycles as a thank you. Uh, and that's a, a very important thing because whenever you hear about back, you know, behind the camera, crew members in a Keanu film, they always talk about how down to earth he is, how nice he is, how he knows all their names. He isn't a prima donna. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Zucchini girl. He's genuine. He's not a fake. He's not a phony. When you see him talking about his passions, his his love of motorcycles and such, uh, there's just a, an, an infectious nature to him. Even I've got a, a, a hot toy, a John Wick, Keanu hot toy, because it's Keanu. The guy has an effect on you, a very positive effect on you. And I think... I'm okay in speaking for the vast majority of us when it when it comes to that. A few weeks ago, Keanu announced that he was doing a comic. There was a little bit of kickback to it. When I say kickback, yeah, you know, the same old puritanical voices. Oh, it looks very violent. Do we need another violent comic? Uh, yes, yes, we do. Uh, we need a really good one as well. And it's about a half man, half god, who's compelled and driven by violence. Uh, sounds rather interesting. I discussed it yesterday on The Real BBC with Gary, a little chat about it. Um, kind of questioning whether or not to, to back it, because it's Kickstarter. And Kickstarter are a gatekeeping... Um, activist platform when they should just shut up brand and allow people to put their products on but no they gatekeep and uh, ultimately i've got a feeling i'm going to support this because it's keanu you know and, and and be damned with it but he released it onto kickstarter yesterday and already as you can see uh 2900 backers 200 and nearly 18,000 pounds which is $291,000 in a day this is magical you have to imagine that the comic book industry the mainstream comic book industry is elated with this news elated because you have a hollywood megastar you don't get too much bigger than keanu he keeps reinventing himself and with the success of john wick in recent years he's put himself right at the top and then of course with cyberpunk 2077 around the corner him being in that as well that beautiful you're awesome no oh, you're awesome moment at E3, which again captivated everyone's hearts. He looks set to become even bigger. 
even bigger. The industry's finest that it has at the moment, Scott Snyder. So they say. Uh, 3,000 backers, but he's only got 15 days left of his campaign. So just 100 odd more than Keanu, but uh, he's on $162,000. This is the best the mainstream has to offer, apparently. On a very middling campaign scott snyder shouldn't be doing 161 thousand. the guy should be doing six seven eight nine hundred thousand dollars and i'm not even exaggerating if the industry was positive right now if the industry uh was full of good comics great stories wonderful creators you'd have that but we don't and of course you know what i'm going to say next they're mad they're absolutely furious with keanu let's have a little look as to why shall we first of all i've got to go to an incognito window because uh, stephanie cook uh one of the uh horrendous whisper network witches has me on block obviously uh has me on block so i have to do that but um she's referring to a snippet of an article uh, from comicbook.com that was done whereas they say we're not kickstarting berserker we're not raising money we've got the money for it so she takes this piece and runs with and then also releasing this quote while simultaneously asking people for money on kickstarter so i have to dig deeper i have to i have to look into the whole article i need the context so i go to comicbook.com and the first thing i see here is uh superman and lois's uh bitsy tolluck asks fans to share their favorite lois lane costumes and my immediate thought is, Jesus Christ, this is probably the CW's idea of research. Anywho, let's get to the article in hand. Keanu Reeves' is Berserker heads to Kickstarter with new artist Ron Garney. Yet they switched the artist over. So we get to the part where they say, we're not kickstarting Berserker. We're not raising money. We've got the money for it. I've been talking to retailers, big direct market retailers about this. When you think, okay, you have Keanu Reeves, you can get somebody who's never read a comic before to read it for the first time. So let's deal with the second half of that first, absolutely. You know, that's proven right there in cash dollar. Bang. Keanu's name's attached to it. And there's multiple reasons why. And... <laughs> First and foremost, he's part creator of this. This could be Keanu's next movie franchise. You know, people are going to look at the success. When I say people, I mean Hollywood. Because they, they're desperate for things right now. They need winners. You know, they've been putting out shite for so many years and the market's down with movies. Video games is through the roof. And when you've got shite like Birds of Prey coming out, <laughs> no they need they need hits so you got this keanu creator part owner of it you can clearly see that this is keanu <laughs> who it's based off you get him he gets attached to it you turn this graphic novel series into a set of movies as well you get keanu to play it boom he's part owner he gets better residuals you know he gets paid for writer star creator you know he does the old uh, adam sandler thing just probably with much more interesting content so it's a it's a great win it's a great win for them touches his name success scott snyder's not bringing new people to the comic book industry with this keanu <laughs> yes has the power 
got the power to do so. So what about the first part of it, though? We're not going to Kickstarter, and they're on Kickstarter. Is this double standards? No, you've got to get the full context. It's so easy to pull something out of context. And they pulled that specifically out of context because these people are fucking mad they can't make money. Why? Because these are the people who go to Kickstarter with their coming-of-age stories about boys fucking porpoises. It's a coming-of-age story. A boy finds love with a porpoise in the sea. People say it's forbidden love, but he finds himself a fuck out of here. Who could possibly give a shit about that? Goes deeper. Goes deeper, though. So they talk about, yeah, they got the money for it, but then they talk about, why are they doing Kickstarter then? Well, Kickstarter is going to offer us one thing which the direct market can't. One click. Why? Because this Kickstarter is for the whole thing. Volumes one, two, and three. So volume one's going to be done, come out. Then they're going to work on volume two. Then it's going to be sent out because you've already paid for it. And the same with volume three. So you can buy all of it in one go. You don't have to go to Amazon. You don't have to go to Barnes and Noble and buy part one and then forget to go back for part two and part three. They're hedging the bets. They're getting the whole deal done with one click in Kickstarter. Makes sense. Also, what does Kickstarter offer that others don't? You can get these extra bonuses. You can get different tier rewards. You can get um, special covers. You can get autographs. From Keanu, you can pay and appear in the book itself. Which you won't be able to do if you put it up on Amazon or you put it up on Barnes & Noble or whatever. Because that just needs to have a complete product boosh. That's what crowdfunding can offer you. This is a business, not a charity. And the people who are mad, obviously, are charity cases. Because these people can't command the money that Keanu commands they start bitching about how he's worth 360 million dollars well you be, you get 360 million dollars of wealth by being a shrewd businessman that's how you get that money being shrewd and a perfect example look at evs with cyberfrog is evs or was evs the biggest name in comics when he was in the mainstream comic book industry. No. It wasn't the biggest name. There were much bigger names around him. But what did he do? He's a shrewd businessman. He was respected. His work was respected. And when you see him at cons, when you see you go back and you watch any footage of EVS at a con, treat his customers with respect had banter with them same when he left he left he goes on to youtube he creates personalities creates personalities around him created comics gate got the big literally ramped people up i'm sick of this SJW bollocks in the mainstream industry. I'm sick of having to do this and that and the other. I just want comics to be fun and engaging for people. Bang. What happens? The audience comes to him. Whoosh. Cyberfrog. Top crowdfunded comic. It's about shrewd business. Not making up comics where kids are bonking porpoises. You know, or you've got a border town that's ticked every box conceivable because it's being as in close half as it possibly can be. This is raw comics. Half man, half God. Drawn to violence. Yeah, this is this is what comics are about. This kind of appeals to all the kind of demographics of what the comic industry used to be. But that's gatekeeping. On the contrary, there's no gatekeeper here. There's no gatekeeper. They haven't 
Got a Scott Snyder getting Camilla Zhang to gatekeep. To gatekeep the wrong people out and also to gatekeep the SJWs from getting Scott as well. Because he has to protect himself from both sides. Be seen to have done the right thing by going on to Kickstarter. Hiring a Kickstarter gatekeeper. No. Keanu's just gone, I've, I've written a book. Me and my mates have written a book. Anyone. Everyone. Come and get it. Shrewd marketing. So you have other creators. Why is Boom? A company with a Netflix deal and major licensing contracts using a self-publishing platform to launch a graphic novel series with Keanu Reeves attached to it. Strange. We've got the money for it. Yeah, they've got the money for it. Keanu could fund this all day, every day, but it's a business. What does this person do? Well, they... Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Just coincidentally enough, happened to make coming-of-age stories about coming out and fucking bunnies, probably, and stuff like that. Who else is complaining? Joe Glass. Oh, my God. Joe openly tried to cancel Sean Gordon Murphy on Twitter. Glass. Joe, I'm a little bitch coward, and please don't retweet my tweets of me trying to openly cancel Sean Gordon Murphy on Twitter. Honestly, I feel like I spent enough time and energy tonight on why the boom berserker Kickstarter thing bugs me. But needless to say, I think it's really gross to use a platform designed to help new independent and small press creators, not necessarily at all, make their dreams a reality and pull focus. No, 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 Joe, 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 Joe. This is testosterone, yeah? Your soy. Nobody that's buying this is buying your shit. Nobody. Nobody that's buying this has even heard of you. Or... Nanzrazi. No. They're here for Keanu. They're not taking away any focus from you because these people would have never... Sorry, I have a button for this now. Would have never, ever gone to you. You're irrelevant. You don't produce what they want. This is what they want. They want a man, half man, half God, with arrows and a knife sticking out of him, drawn to violence, looking like Keanu, made by Keanu. Because people like Keanu. It's crazy. The spotlight that this shines on the mainstream industry once again gives the industry the chance to say, hey, look, look at what we can offer. It's just a shame when you see what they actually have to truly offer. Because they spent the last four years destroying it. And I had to leave this last bit till last because it's two seconds long and it gets me right in the feels every time I listen to this gets me emotional because for the last four years the industry has been tearing itself apart has been telling its customers to go away to fuck off has been treating them with contempt has been putting this that and the other all all on Twitter. Don't like my politics. Don't buy my bulk. All that stuff. Two seconds of Keanu. Every time. Yeah. Comics are awesome, Keanu. They 100% are. Nearly 30 years of my life has been involved with them. And this is the type of awesome looking comic that I gravitate towards. 
Not soy boy. Not coming of age porpoise fucker. Some masculinity, yeah? Some great art. Nice bit of violence thrown in. Keanu Reeves did more for the mainstream comic book industry in two seconds. Two seconds than industry has done for itself in four fucking years. There we go. Sorry, I know this has gone on for a bit. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming links. In the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.